Hi, we're the Moms of Furries. I'm Carrie. I'm Joelle. And we just got back from FWA 2024. It was amazing. So we just wanted to talk about it. Yep, we had a great time. It was so busy. It was so busy. Like, amazingly, wonderfully busy, but a lot of people. So many people. We had no idea what we were in for. And uh, it was amazing, though, to see how well orchestrated everything was and how quickly the FWA con staff responded to right. that increased traffic. That's what I was going to say, like they adjusted, because I do know that there were hiccups because when you grow like that, it was what? You expect it. A 50% attendance growth from last year. This is our third year, and we were changed. Like, I think they kind of had an idea from pre-reg that it was going to be bigger, but so we were in a different space, and some other things were moved around. I don't think everything went according to what they had planned previously, but they adjusted, and it was great. Things seldom do, though. I mean, you have oh, a picture yeah. in your mind of how things are going to go, and then you, you adjust to, to the reality. Well, and that's, that is something that's really important. If you don't do that, something that you should work to try to do, because flexibility will save you a lot of stress and headache. Absolutely. <laughs> so here are some cool things that we saw. Okay. I think um, seeing all of the furries migrate between the two spaces, I really liked the way they uh, organized traffic and the sky bridge. I thought that was cool. Right. I mean, there were long lines, but you're not going to... Have short lines when you have over 15,000 people. So As there are, yeah, at every convention. Um, mm -hmm. I loved the fursuits that we saw. It was amazing oh, yeah. to see all the creativity, as always, but that's just really fun. Mm -hmm. Yep, and our space, even though we were kind of away from it, it's kind of a good thing to be have a breakaway, but we still got a lot of young furry traffic and parents and a lot of suits you know it's it's always amazes me like all of the young furry made suits i agree you know? i agree and we really, are typically really cool. over in the panel room area of the marquee but that's not even it wasn't even the panel room for some no time. yeah yeah it's all, it was all different in the here. atrium in the yeah in the, the atrium. atrium there like right by the hallway that you go to the food court yeah. so it was a good location i, I will say that we had a nice location the last couple yeah. of years um, but this year we were in the Hilton and we were on the fourth floor mm -hmm. and we had access to that outdoor track, which was nice if you need to get some fresh air. We well, had a great quiet, quiet space. We don't ever have a quiet space at FDF. No, that was, a, that was a growth, that was a, a section of growth. Plus the panel room there, um, I know that they had like the military furs last night and the improv thing. And they were fun to listen to, they both were. of us. <laughs> but I think that... that if I'm not wrong, if something doesn't happen, we'll be there too. And we're trying to help build up the youth track, like more young free Looking panels at ways, yes, like we can expand the offering but, because there was a great turnout this year. Lots of yeah. repeat young furries and some new kids too. That was cool. And the biggest thing for us in our space, and this is it, yeah. Huge. So we, I don't know who is listening that knows us or whatever, but we've been doing this for a very long time. We've been to many many conventions with our young furry chill space and this is the very first time that we have had majority dads instead of moms like and there's nothing wrong with having moms it's just such a shift in demographic like this year we had well over 90 percent fathers bringing their young furries to the convention well, yeah we love the parent parental support no matter how Ooh, it is. right but we have always looked for fathers in the past to chat with them and get their so, just to get their perspective right right and it was just really it was the year of the fathers it was interesting and because it's very interesting to me because it's always over mother's day weekend and that might be why like fwa has always been because it's been something for parents or moms and kids to do together or whatever but it was just really interesting it was it was nice yeah it was really cool to connect with all of the different fathers and their their um, motivation for coming. One was a dad we, we'd seen before, um, which was so cool to see him and his, his daughter come back and talk to them and their their journey over the last couple of years because we first met them two years ago. Right. And we I feel like, you know, we see them at FWA, but I still feel like we've, we know them. Yes. Because, you know, we, we, have, we make significant contact with a lot of people within that space. The other thing that I noticed that was different is a lot of times when we have parents come in or adults that are chaperoning with their young furry, a lot of the conversation will be like managing expectations for, you know, how do I parent somebody who's in the fandom? How do I understand it? 
that kind of thing. It's foreign to me. It feels a little weird. It's a little strange. I can't, I'm trying to find my way. Right. I didn't get that from any of those. Fathers. Like nobody oh this year, everybody was like, oh yeah, I love it. Whatever either works, way. thumbs up. Right. We, either, I felt like we either had, we had mostly that like, yeah, we're doing this or like kick back. I'm going to watch my videos while my kids having this great time. But we had some really, as we do every single convention, we had young furry connections, like Kids meeting other, and it, you know, it could be that younger is the kids, best part for me. teenagers, it's, you know, all ages, but the, it, like we're sitting there listening and they, do you want to go with us? Like, that's the best. Like the families, they're like, yeah, let's just all go back out together. Yeah. And I love so eavesdropping, love you know, as we mill about the room, making mm-hmm. sure everybody's okay. You know, you hear snips of conversations and that's always really gratifying. But I walk by somebody and it's a one young furry saying to another, like, so what are your pronouns? And, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. oh, you know, what what do you create? Let me see what you have. And or did you make photos. this, like, talking about their, their suits? How and did then, you get the job? Yeah. That's interesting because it's, wonderful. It's, it's fascinating to watch younger people be like, oh, yeah, so I did this stitch. And then I did, you know. Yes. Um, so it's been amazing. And to Joelle's point, we've really, now we're stepping back like, oh, my gosh, FWA is amazingly huge. We have all these new people. Mm. What can we do to expand right. what the young furries have access to as far as education, panels, activities? Right. Well, yeah. And we've had some input from some wonderful friends of ours that hopefully we could do some big things in the future. Mm-hmm. I mean, some really interesting things. So FWA 2025 is going to be cool. Also, I was going to say, I know exactly what you're going to say. say it. No, you do it. You do. I know it. It's the aquarium. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking to yes. the aquarium. I am super so excited. I'm stoked about the aquarium, but I'm also stoked about the theming. Oh, it's future punk, right? Yes, future punk. Murphy wants to say hi. He's really into it. Oh, um, he's a little so close, close to me. He does yeah. not love other people. My bad. Um, <laughs> but this look, this is growth. He doesn't bark at me, and that is huge. Yes, and special shout out to Fran and Dark Moon, um, for really being great contacts and supporting us and taking care of us so well. FWA is just a wonderful convention for us to work with. Like they're just really, really, really great to work with. Yeah. Couldn't couldn't ask for more. We had such a wonderful time. Mm-hmm. But and, and I know that 2025 is just gonna build on that. And if you guys have ideas, share them. Let it doesn't us matter what you think. If it's a great idea or it's a dumb idea, please share because if you're thinking it probably somebody else's too and they'd appreciate it. Exactly. Something you would like to see or just any idea that, yeah, that centers around youth yeah. or parents or education in that way. And I really want to do a call out to any artists out there that might be willing to help the young furries because okay. we do, I don't have one. I know. I was looking around too. They're packed up. We have to reorganize. We have bases. Go ahead. And anyone that's been in our space before, you know, we have, um, there are three species, but it's, it's technically the same base it's the same body type with like different tails or ears that we use so we set those out and um people can either color them and decorate them or we do blanks that people if they're artists and they have they want to draw their own personas they can but it's been five years of the same full body base and we would really like to do something that's that's shoulder up or bust which is so popular in um in badges and you know when you walk around the uh, the vendor's room or the dealer's in, you see amazing badges, but kids don't have those budgets and they make their own and they love making their own. Is there a limit to how many badges I can make? No, make whatever you want. This is your space. So, so if you have any um, desire to participate or support the Young Free Chill space, if you're an artist and you want to draw um, a character that would be easily colored and personalized, and really, we want the bust only, but if you even if you had just a different character, anything, and we're looking at like three by five ish size, ideally for print, just but for yeah, scale. but it, yes, for scale. But just send us a file and and um, anywhere you can go to mofurries.com. All of our contact information is there. You can email us. You can send it. However, um, just make sure that when you send it, you put that we have all the rights to do it because we yeah. don't want, we don't make money off of it, but we also just want to be able to not be concerned. Let the, for the young furries make whatever they make. And yeah. And, and we that. can um, insert just a, like oh, a picture. Credit. 
Uh, I'm saying an example of the, the bases that we currently have. It's just like an outline. It, it's like a coloring page. So it would be, um, we're not asking for full art. No, just something very easily. Uh, like a canine, a feline, some, a, a few different species. We'll, we'll take almost anything that, that um, the kids could really kind of decorate and make their own. That would be what we would really appreciate it. Yeah, we'll try to put up um, on all of the social media. Maybe we'll make a post about it with the, uh, a picture of one of the blanks that we use now. Because that would be awesome. Yeah. And also shout out anyway. because FWA was so busy, we went and cut paper multiple, three times we had to go back and recut paper because we ran out of supplies and our supplies are depleted. And please like repost this and share this because those, those supplies are what makes, make the kids happy. And right. we, we have really depleted. Right. And, and please understand our Young Free Chill Space is self-funded. Like the supplies, anything that we take to conventions for young furries and their people to use, we buy or they're donated. Like there's no, there's no magical money that comes in. Right. Right. It's a donation or it's us. Or it's us. And we definitely, we are driven to continue this as long as we can because it's so successful. And we watch. It's so meaningful to the kids and their adults. It's so meaningful. And us. We leave with our souls filled. Yes. It's, yeah, we're exhausted, but it's... It's amazing. Yeah. So we had a dad um, who came dressed in theme every day of the convention, mm -hmm. um, and he said that the Young Furry Chill Space has been, like, their favorite spot to just... He said, I, we, we love it in here. We love to come here. They can connect with other kids. They can play Connect Four. They can just have some quiet time, look around, um, chat with another adult. I was the um the one one dad um that has a protogen kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who is a repeat person. It's just like when they come in, they're like, Okay, we we're like, we have our base. We're here. Yeah. This is the space for us. And then Yeah. And there was a little little, like a very young furry. <laughs> she was so cute. She had squeakers, which I know can be a bit much for some people, but she at the time actually, it worked. Yeah, yeah. It worked. And she asked, so she was very polite. But she had put them in the heel of her little socks. And so every step she made, she went squeak, squeak, squeak. She was just adorable. And I asked her how she was doing at the convention. And this is not a plug. I just thought it was really sweet. And I said, what's been your favorite part of the convention? Because it could be anything. Seeing protogens, getting a hug, getting a picture with telephone. It could be anything. And she said, coming here. Oh, I just melted my heart. Was that was the great. same one that every persona that came in, any suitor that came in, she made a bluey type character? Yes. Of it, like she made like twenty badges, but they were so cute, so so cute. And then for herself, she made them all for someone else, which happens a lot. There's a lot of um, let me make your badge in our space. Yes, I love a it. lot of trades. I love it, which was really cool. Um, so yeah, the young person was, space was, was great. very great. We didn't get to see as many things as we wanted to. Uh, but we were tired at the end of the day. <laughs> well, we didn't get to see a lot of people that we had intended to. And there are people that we had planned to interview that we just, and, and both sides of us, we just didn't have the time. Yeah. Everybody was so unbelievably busy. We'll have to, we'll have to connect with them after. Um, right. And maybe put it on our podcast. But yeah, a phenomenal experience. We had, great. Um, not sponsored, but the Mediterranean at Aviva oh. in the food cart, amazing. That gentleman feeding we everybody his in line. name so we can say his name. I, it's Chef something. Yeah, I'll look it up. He yeah. he gets a lot of good buzz, so it's probably not a surprise to you if you've been to FWA. But his food is amazing. He came through the line. It was a fairly long line, but they, they moved quickly. And he you, gave everybody a bowl of soup. Right. You're <laughs> never upset about being in that long line because you get a bowl of soup. And then they came along and gave us a falafel. And then last year it was baklava. baklava. So you're, all, you're well taken care of. Yeah. I wish we'd gotten the bulgogi. Yeah, we we need to do that next year. And we didn't stop by the the breakfast place where they have the the like buffet and you pay by the ounce where you left your cup. Oh yeah yeah yeah. We normally right. hit that up every. We didn't hit them up this year. Okay, and we met a furry that I feel very connected to now. Vance, thank you very much because Vance, if you're out there, if you happen to see this. We just think you really should consider motivational speaking or personal training as a career option. Yes, because we had to walk up to uh, the 16th floor 
And it was a lot because it was the end of the day. It was quite late and we were exhausted. And he's like, one more. We're and almost he, there. And he would stop on levels and hold the door open so we could go take a break. And he's so like, nice. come on, I've got the door open. You can do it. So and, sweet. And we would take a break and then he's like, come on, let's go. Yeah. He was amazing. amazing. Like we joke, but he was really, really, he did not have to do that with us. And he did. He made sure that we got all the way to our floor. Yeah, that was awesome. So highlights for me. Still and always consistently, the Starbucks in the marquee. Good job. Oh, good. Thank you for mm -hmm. powering us through. They move the line quickly, and they are really efficient and friendly, mm -hmm. even when it gets crazy. So they really do deserve a shout out. Um, it was great to run into friends uh, just randomly, which is what happens at a convention, mm -hmm. and really be able to connect. That was amazing. Yep, yep. We were able to really... That, that's funny because for a lot of people that we missed that we had expected to see... We actually got to talk and like really like catch up with some people that we didn't, we hadn't really um, put on our plan or anything. It was just very uh, running into yeah. and multiple people, and friends that was um, that made We're, it into the dance competition. We were able to to see them oh. and have a little chat. So just lots of stuff. I wish we'd made it to the drag show. I'm really sad that we missed that. Um, I wish we'd been able to stay for the dance competition next year. Hopefully we can make that happen. It's hard when you have to juggle family and life and a, uh, a job. So um, we are going to work on the lottery. That would solve a lot of challenges. But yeah. I don't know if it's a reliable um, source of income. No. no. Sure. If so, though, we're going to probably go full time off. <laughs> Final thoughts? Oh, Let's see. Um, I think we said everything. Oh, I do want to say something. I know that there, there have been a lot of grumblings about the elevator and the lines and stuff. And once again, fifteen over 15,000 people. I think there were going to be hiccups and, and that's just considered growing pains. Yeah. But Saturday night. So Friday night was the night that we did the 16 floors. And Saturday night at the end of the day, we were exhausted. And we were both like, we just we just can't do that again tonight it was just too much and the person who i believe it was hotel staff at it that was, point yeah. um who was managing the elevator that we were on the floor we were on that particular elevator i cannot comment on any other thing right. but she was amazing she was moving it and we didn't know if we should go yet and she's just like Get in or get out. Let's go. And we got on. <laughs> we only Thank stood you. In, but that elevator line, we only stood in maybe 15 minutes. No, and we were able to chat with some young furries. <laughs> and we were, yeah, and we were able to. They were probably young adult furries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not young, young. But we consider anyone under uh, 50. Yeah. <laughs> young furries. Yeah. So it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And next up for us in out. Uh, in two weeks. Not even two weeks. Not in nine days. In nine days. We are so excited. We are lucky to be a guest of honor at Anthro Ohio. And it's gonna be amazing. My first time going to Ohio. Not you. I know. I mean I lived in the area, so I've been to Ohio, but we've not been to this convention. We're so excited. And we have personally met a few times some of the AO um people, staff. Staffers, yeah. And we really, really, really like them. And we're super excited. It's a smaller con and we... Which is going to be so like, cool. Big cons and small cons are fantastic because for different they reasons. have different vibes. Right. So we're really, really excited about that. And the theme, I love the theme. It's paranormal. And I think that's so cute. We're planning some stuff. Yeah. We're going to be super into the theme, I think. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for listening to our recap of FWA 2024. Young Free Chill Space was amazing. The mm -hmm. whole event was Super cool. Thank you, Joelle, for driving. Um, that, oh, was, that was very nice. It was nice. So, yeah, because I flew into Carrie's house and we drove up together. But it was kind of nice for us to be I able to. airport in the backyard. Yeah. Carrie, yeah, I flew into Carrie's backyard airport. We're bi-coastal now. So yeah. we are off on a different coast. So FWA will really kind of be the local con for me because I'm on the East Coast. And, and then Anthro Northwest will be the West Coast because we'll, we can drive from my house. Yep. So we'll fly and drive from both locations and everything else we'll figure out. <laughs> All right. Well, get some sleep. If you were at FWA, you need to rest. If you weren't, hopefully we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.